This is a big box. When it comes to collecting things for amateur astronomy, there are a wide range of things you can look at. Telescopes and eyepieces are the obvious ones, but one thing I've recently gotten into is collecting Lego sets of the NASA ships that have been released. For my birthday this year, my wife was nice enough to get me the Space Shuttle Discovery, which is the newest addition to the NASA lineup. I currently own the Saturn V rocket and the Lunar Lander, and this will be the third piece to my collection. I thought we'd take a little bit of time today to unbox this and go through the process of it, and then show you the end results of what we have. Let's take a look at what we have in the box. So we're going to begin by opening this up by cutting some of the tape that we have down here on the side. These are beautiful boxes that they package these in. I've actually kept the ones for the Saturn V rocket and for the lunar lander uh, just because I thought the design of them was just such a, a neat way to present it. We open this up here and we go from this beautiful black box to several different boxes and pieces. As with all of these Lego series, all of these are going to be labeled uh, different things to let you know exactly which ones to use in the process of it. This specific space shuttle that NASA put out has 2,354 pieces. Uh, I actually wasn't into building Legos when I was a kid and I just got into it in the past few years with these NASA series that they've been releasing, but this will be the largest one that I've ever put together. So we've got these different bags here, labeled different numbers to let us know what part of the process we need to do for this. And we have another box here to open. Cut the tape here for that. Which includes, you guessed it, more Lego pieces. Um, let's just dump this one out. Wow. All right. This is uh, quite a bit of stuff. As we take a look here at the manual and decals, let's take a minute to open this up and see exactly what we have. One thing I've always been very impressed with, with each of these NASA Lego builds I've had so far, is the quality of the manual in terms of not only the directions but just the artwork and the pictures that they use in it and also the quality of the decals. Um, I believe we have here the decals for the Hubble Space Telescope that goes along with it. It's a very nice addition to it by the way. Um, and these decals give me a little bit of the idea of what the size is going to be on it and I think this is going to be a little bit larger than I had expected in terms of the end result. Uh, we also have some decals here for the plaque talking about the NASA Space Shuttle Discovery STS-31 which is the mission that they're focusing on here. Some more decals and a beautiful Lego manual with just gorgeous pictures throughout not only just pictures with the directions, which are always so easy to follow, but just the pictures that it has in terms of the Space Shuttle and the Hubble Space Telescope and a good little bit of a brief history of the design and specifications of each of them as well. Those are touches that really make it that more impressive when you're working through building these. I've moved downstairs and put on a movie to begin the process of building the Space Shuttle Discovery and the Hubble Space Telescope. I'm going to do sort of a video montage for this segment just showing some of the key steps along the way and then at the end we'll come back together and compare it to the Saturn V rocket and the lunar lander as well. Let's get started.
After several nights and quite a few more movies than I was anticipating, this took a good bit longer to put together than I thought it would. We have here the finished results of the Hubble Space Telescope and the Space Shuttle Discovery. Let's begin by talking about the Hubble. The first thing you're going to notice with the Hubble Space Telescope really is the solar panels that are included with this. The design of them is beautiful, the colors very accurate to what you see in space. The overall build of this is enough to almost be its own set. Moving on from the Hubble Space Telescope, we have the highlight of this piece, which is obviously the Space Shuttle Discovery. What I love specifically about the Discovery compared to other sets that I own, such as the Lunar Lander and Saturn V rocket, is this Space Shuttle Discovery is going to be set up for my daughter to play with. My daughter is almost three years old, and the first thing that I did when I finished it was set it up with the wheels out so that she could roll it around the house and just play with it. And that's something that you really can't do with a number of these other sets. This one actually feels like a toy that can be played with. She opened up the, uh, the bay area to the space shuttle and put in her Daniel Tiger neighborhood figures and basically used it like it was the neighborhood space shuttle taking people around town. Looking at some of the specifics that we have here, the beautiful reflective coating that we have from the stickers that are included there. Moving up to the cabin of it with the seats for the astronauts, computer panels that are included as well, all of those small details that LEGO is so good at when it comes to putting out these NASA pieces. The beauty of this set though in terms of displaying it is actually taking the Hubble Space Telescope and mounting it in the bay of the Space Shuttle Discovery. So the Discovery was actually the shuttle that took the Hubble Space Telescope up into orbit, so the thing had to fit in it. These are to the same scale, so this Hubble model will fit into the Space Shuttle Discovery is probably the way most people are going to want to display this piece. Now that we've taken a look at the Hubble Space Telescope and the Space Shuttle Discovery, let's compare it to some other sets in the NASA LEGO collection, the Lunar Lander and the Saturn V rocket. The table has filled up a little bit, and we have here the four pieces that I currently own of the NASA LEGO set. The first one that I got was the Saturn V rocket, then it was the Lunar Lander, and then obviously the ones that we're focusing on for this video, the Hubble Space Telescope and the Space Shuttle Discovery. Each of them unique in their design, not just with what NASA did with them obviously, which fit the mission and the time in which they were designed, but also how LEGO decided to put these together to really reflect that and show the history of NASA through each of these pieces. Out of the four of these pieces, I would say my favorite is still currently the Saturn V rocket. It's a combination of the history of this impressive machine and also just the scale of it that LEGO put out, as you can see compared to the others in this video uh, for this piece in particular. If you have any of these sets or ones that I don't currently have, please be sure to let me know why you picked them up and what you like about them in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.